And right under the old Douglas fir with burls. With the trillium, just a few feet away. <laughs> with the trillium and legs is a trumoral. Morcella. Who, who knows what it's growing with here because hemlock, western cedar, it has to be just all by itself here. Wow. This cool and then, it's just a baby. It has a cool shape though, but you can see before it gets all warty and bubbly. You can see it looks just like a little saddle. One of the lookalikes mm -hmm. of the Morcellus. The elven saddle. It's like Gyrometra something or another. Helvel? Helveltia? Helveltia? Something Perhaps. Like that. Here in the cool. midst of Douglas fir, probably 150 years, western red cedar, stump, jake, and sword ferns still coming up with these morcellus. <laughs> Look, here's one up here. This little guy, little guy, just kind of chilling. And then look, got uncle down over here, coming up the hillside, coming in. <sighs> Mama and poppers. Unbelievable, I've never seen that before in the Pacific Northwest. Well, let's get harvesting. Yep. There's two. Once again, sword ferns, western red cedar, Douglas fir. What are they eating on, right? That's how you grow them. Definitely. True, true morels, morcella. Mm -hmm. This is a little gone, but man, that's exciting. They're just coming up in this forest here, and I don't, I don't know why. All right. I'm going to get this one. It's pretty nice. It's pretty much hiding underneath the sticks and ferns, little guys. Kind of early in the year. That's why it's hiding. Little guy there, but here, let's see how big this guy is. Twist a little bit at the bottom. Look, it's already split. Look, it's got some little guys growing right there in the middle. Wow. Happens in a low light situation. Gets that growth right in the center. It was growing underneath the stick. That stick right there. Nice one. Some other ones there too. In this nice second growth forest. Douglas fir. Old burnt cedar stumps. They seem to really like that burnt soil. It's probably a good way to grow them in the lab. I've often around the burned areas. Same thing like cauliflowers. It's on the edge of some light here. So it still gets that 70% cover needed for UV shade, for the mycelia. It helps to have all the sticks and moss on the ground. Some light fernage, not too much. Moss like that more. This place is beautiful. It's about ready to be logged. Like when you say, oh my god, you know it's unbelievable. <laughs> Once again, we got a burnt stump. Chantra right there next to it. Right there next to it in the same low light kind of shaping on top, sticks and stuff. And honey's over here. Here, bring your phone, bring your camera over here and just look at how many things are here. Are here. So we have this, this, that Ooh. one, this one, and then look up there. That one, Ooh. that one. It's oh, quite look beautiful. Look at this beautiful actually. guy. That one's just lovely. Just how it's rolling out like that. A little, under it's some shit. trailing blackberry. Yep. Right on, babe. Ah. <laughs> Let's just do a random hike real quick. See what's over this hillside. Not hurting these guys. Let's 
we can see anything from the top. Once again, next to the burnt cedar stumps. See some more here too. We're just gonna go down and check them out because if I can see them from somewhere, that's exciting. Oh, there's some too. Oh my God. Oh, okay, let's just check these out. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, two, like four, five, check these ones out. Fuck, it's as big as my hand. Fuck. Let's just like pick that one just to see what it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Look how big that is. Oh my gosh, look at these two. And they're coming out of the ferns. Check these ones out over here. That's just one just splayed wide open. Probably a mongoose stepped on it or something. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, that's a neat one. Here, let's pick that. Uh, try and get the holes. Damn. Ah, oh, because. It's all edible. Oh man. <laughs> Check this one. This one's beautiful. Wow. Oh, this is just magnificent work of art, I would say. Oh my. Look how big it is. That's kind of low light. Right? It's got that internal growth. It's kind of in the shadows here. And the burnt cedar stumps. Look, you can see the springboard marks. This place is crazy. Oh my gosh, here's another one. Wow. Wide scan. Oh my gosh, look down there. Yo, oh, okay. Look at this. Hey, check this out. I can see these way from over there. There's some down in here. Where is it? This, it was one. Where is it? Maybe I saw a ghost chanterelle to find those ones in the ferns. He can't ever find those if you don't see them. Oh man. Okay. I'm just gonna see if there's any right around here anymore. There's first. Always do a circuit. Once you find something, do a circuit. Oh. Do a circuit. Because they run in a ring or in a rhizomorph, a line, or a circle. But a line is simply a circle, it's not complete. Maybe it's stretched. If you had a circle and stretched it sideways, that would happen. My gosh! Dude, so pretty, babe. It's traveling on this old trail. Look at this little guy. It's just on there on a cut piece. The rule is, if you see one, there's probably some more around. Some hedgehogs. You can tell because the bottom, the underneath of them look like hedgehogs. They have like spikes. See, Sm smell good and they taste smell good. really good and they look really good too. Mm -hmm.
little reversed one. So little light. Ah. <laughs> Yeah.